like to take a chance on something here. <laughs> that, um, being that we're learning the Nefesh which is the Shita Sagra, um, as I pointed out, it's easy to read it fast and not realize you know, that this is a bombshell here. But the Nefesh Chaim clearly says that the, um, as you said over and over again, that the Neshama, <coughs> the Neshama of a person um, does, doesn't, isn't um, the Atzmius of HaKadosh Baruch. It's not like you have in you, or we have in us, the Atzmius of HaKadosh Baruch. Um, that's what the Nefesh Chaim says, and that's the Shita of the Gra which we learned a little bit, if you recall, in the um, Hakdama to the Safra Ditzniyus of the Gra. But the, the Gra um, is adamant about this point that the Neshama is not, does not have God in it, which sounds fair enough, but um, the, the Balatanya um, clearly argues with this. And what I wanted to do, and here's the chance I want to take, is I want to learn this Tanya inside. We started learning a couple of sentences of, of it, but I want to learn the Tanya inside. At least I have it inside. You don't have it inside unless you have a Tanya there. What? Yeah, well, it's on a couple of pages. That's the only problem. Okay. Next is I can pay Gimel. Okay. Enough. <laughs> so um, this the starts off, the Balatani starts off really with a Rambam. And the Rambam speaks about the fact that Akarish Baruch Hu, um, is one, as we know, right? Hashem Echad, Ushmoy Echad, Shema Yisrael, Hashem Alekeinu, Hashem Echad, Hashem is one. Doesn't need too many psukhim, we all believe that Hashem is one. But the Rambam adds into this that Shachadosh Baruch Hu Mehusai V'atzmusai V'daytai Hakol Echad Mamish Everything about Hashem is one. In other words, it's easy to say it's one. There's not two gods. That's, that's kind of easy, but it's more than that. It's the Rambam. Mahusai v'atzmusai, what he is, the atzmus of Hashem, the daitai, the will of Hashem. I call echad mamish achtus pshuta v'loy merkevas klal. It's not divided up into parts. It's not divisible. It's one. Kein ha'inyan mamish b'chol midosav shel ha'kodesh baruch hu. Same thing as with the midos of Hashem. So if you say Hashem is a racham, you don't have this inside yet. If you say Hashem is a, a, um, a rachum, a rachanun, or an erech um that's one. That's all part of one. It's not because it you would have a tendency to say, um, the dualists would say that, uh, that oh, Hashem, the, the angry God, this is the angry God. This is the God of, Christians like to talk about the Lahabdil, the God of vengeance. You know the God of mercy, so it's there's only, there's only one God, um, but unto itself it's pasha. Like, it do, are we one with our anger? Let me say, you're a psychologist. <laughs> are we one with our anger? Are we one with our mercy? So what's the answer to the question? Are you one with your mercy? Or is that like something outside of you? Probably depends. <laughs> uh, it, it probably depends. Like, it, like, is like you could. I'm using the vernacular. I'm not a psychologist or a philosopher, but um, you'd say like, is that really me speaking? You know, is that, am I one with it? So whatever, whether we are one with it or not one with our midos, Hashem is one with our midos. Are our thoughts when we have thoughts? I'm trying to open up this. this uh, Crack this nut here. Comparing Hashem, Hashem's oneness to our being one or not being one, I think that's that's, that's exactly the point. That's a problem. Isn't yes, it? that is exactly <laughs> the problem. That's what I was like when we talk about ourselves. Yeah. The, the 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 words that we use are my one with my opinions, are my one with my das. Mm -hmm. it's, it's hard to know. Maybe yes, maybe not. So one thing is clear 
the Kaddish Baruch Hu's one, only one, not divisible by two, not different manifestations. Maybe I don't know. I don't know what words, what fancy words you want to use, but it's he's one. So the Rambam makes this point. Um, just finish you reading the Rambam. You don't have it in front of you. You find that Hashem's called a Chacham, the Chsiva Gam Hu Chacham. The Rambam says, Ki Rotsa Hashem as Hireyev. Hashem has a Rotsam. Hashem's Rotsam has changed. He's one. I don't know. You see this Rotsam. Reino Chafetz Vimisasam Ubi Rishosam. Hashem wants this, He doesn't want that. But Tahare Naim, Meroy Spira. Ain Ritsoinoi Vichachmosai on the Ramba. Ain Ritsoinoi Vichachmosai, Omidas Chastoi, Vrachmanusai, Visharmi Dice, and Mysifen by Ribui, Bar Kava Chasvisholm, Vimahusavats Musai. It doesn't make God bigger or smaller or divisible by three. Elats Musai, and Mahusai, or Ritsoinoi Vichachmosai, Ubinosai, Vedaitoi, Omidas Chastoi, Vurosai, Vrachmanosai, Visifartoi. Good list, right? I'm going to repeat that. <laughs> It's all one thing, God, just one thing, Hashem. I'm sorry, we have WhatsApp you one thing, but I'm reading a different thing, but this is all the Rambam. <coughs> the Rambam says, it's not something we can articulate, and it's not something we can hear. And a person will never understand it in their heart clearly. Why? Because how do we understand something? Says the Rambam, we are mitzayir b'sichle. We, we, we try to create a picture of that in our mind. Right? You try to understand something if you're trying to understand a color, so you, you imagine the color. If you're a physicist, you're trying to understand something much more uh, esoteric, so you try to get a picture of that in your mind. So the bigger the genius is the one who could picture something which is really very, very esoteric. Now try to understand in your mind Ratzon, Chachma. So when we understand that, um, we understand that in a way that's human to understand. But as Rabbi Yitzhak said, try to understand this in the, in the Midas of Achtos of Hashem, and you're stuck. Why? Because it's, not, it's simply not in our brain. It's not within the experience of our brain to understand this. So what we're talking about here is a, a Yediyah without necessarily a Havana, that Hakol Echad. There is nothing but one Hashem. So, let me just, let me just pull out the consequences of that, or the, or the, I should say, the uh, ramifications, which are consequential. Uh, so when you say, um, whoa, we are seeing the wrath of Hashem, right? Uh, um, Mount St. Helen explodes, or something like that, or there's a tsunami in, um, somewhere in, in, in Asia. So um, we are seeing the wrath of Hashem. So hakol echad, if you're seeing the wrath of Hashem, that means, according to this Rambam, that means you're seeing Hashem. Because hakol echad, you can't say, well, you're seeing, you're not, you're seeing the wrath of Hashem, but you're not seeing Hashem. Hakol echad, there are no two things. If you see, if you see um, the beauty of Hashem in nature, if you see the mercy of Hashem, so you're only seeing one thing, which is Hashem. So are you seeing Hashem or you're not seeing Hashem? According to this Rambam, says the Balatanya, and this is his thesis, um, there's only one Hashem. So you can't, you can't say this is something separate from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Hu, Lashon Rambam, Hu, Umidosav, Chad Hu. He and his Midos are all one. Is that only uh, his action, or could you, do we say that like this chair is Hashem? Well, where do you stop? That's That's... This is a problem. <laughs> how, work? how do you limit friends? Okay, so when we make a chair, when you build a chair, um, I could see a lot of gil in that chair, but it's not you. I sit on it, it doesn't hurt you. 
I said on Yod Hurt. So it's, it's um, well, you have to come to that. That that's Hashem. Like, why can't it? Because it, because I can divide you from the chair, but I can't divide Hashem's ratzon. The ratzon is Hashem. Okay, so the midos of Hashem are Hashem. Manifestation. Say Hashem Gufa. Well, Irani Adam Bechai. We can't say. That. What's Hashem Gufa? What is that? Well, Irani Adam Bechai. Yeah, okay. People never know. Midos aside, if you look at a sandcastle, you see a sandcastle, but it's individual grains of sand. So you look closer, you see the individual grains of sand. So, so, so what do you, so, yeah. therefore? But everything in the Shem. You're not seeing the, well, <laughs> you're not seeing the, the kid who made the sand castle. Okay. You can, might recognize it, uh, uh, that's his style. Right. So let me, let's let's look at this and see what the, what the Baladanya says. Hine mikan yesh lahavin, this you should have. Shigagas mixas chachomim. I'm looking now at the Tanya, which you have in your WhatsApp. Which page? Pei Gimel, on the bottom. Hine mikan yesh lahavin, shigagas mixas chachomim. From here we can begin to understand uh, the mistake of some chachomim. Of some chachamim. <clears throat> Hashem yechaper ba'adam. May God have forgiveness for them. Shishogu, now he's talking about the Vilna Gon. But he's not really talking about the Vilna Gon because the Vilna Gon <coughs> is also hooking in to a whole line of Mekubalim which came before the Vilna Gon who understood. Um, this question, Shishagu Vitau be Yunan the Kisvei Arizal, that misunderstood, they, they misunderstood and they made mistakes in looking at what the Arizal said. Vehevinu Inyan had Simsum Hamusker Sham Kipshuto. Let's get let's not get confused because we're learning it at sight. The, those Mikubalim, says the Balatanya, um, understood Simsum Kipshuto. What's Simsum? So at Simpson, the Arizal tells us, um, just tells us a story like this, that, that Hashem created um, before, he, before he even created the world. Before he created the world, um, he created, he was Misavev Kolalman, and then he was Mamale Kolalman, and then he says the Arizal, he contracted himself out of the world and left the world. So if you read the Arizal, it sounds pretty much, not that this is so relevant, you would think, but you'll see it becomes very relevant, because all of, uh, all of Avodah Zarah, you know, uh, comes from a misunderstanding of this concept. So it's not so posh at all of um, everything, everything really. I mean, it sounds like so, so not relevant, yet it's so relevant. Um, but what, what the Arizal simply says, I mean, you can't deny this, that the Arizal simply says is that HaKadosh Baruch Hu filled the world, he contracted himself from the world and what was left was a world. So if you understand a kipshuto, it means to say that the world is the place where Hashem is not. That's, under, that's understanding the Arizal kipshuto. Does that work with everybody? Hmm? No. Why? Okay, what about everything, right? Shachadosh Baruch Hu, and here's his words explaining the mistake or or the the simplicity of the the oversimplification of their results. He puts Shachadosh Baruch Hu, Silek Atzmai Umahusai Chas V'Sholoim Mi'Olam Hazeh. That Shachadosh Baruch Hu took out. Is that's basically what the Nefesh Chaim said, right? That that. The neshama used to have atzmusay shal. Used to have historically had atzmusay shal kadosh baruch hu. But once we did the chet of the eight hadas, the, the atzmusay of a kadosh of a kadosh baruch came out of the neshama. Who chayfei all of, and it's just up there somewhere, giving maybe hashpa, or we're getting we're 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 not in the fire. We're having we're the heat of the fire. But see like atzmai mahusay chas. So this chas v'shalom is pretty much the nefesh shachaim. This class for show. He says the same thing about, about the world. Rakshimashkiach mil malo. And what do they say? So a Baruch Hu is watching from Lamalo. 
What's Ozen Pirkei Avos? So Hashem is an Ayin Haroe, Ozen Shomas. Da Malamalam Incha. Right. Very good. He's watching Milamalo Bahashkacha Pratis. He's here. It could be Hashkacha Pratis. It's Hashkacha. He's watching carefully. He's got good vision. But he's not here. He's not. Hashkacha Pratis. How call I it serve? Call about share by Shabai, be Baobalo, or Reds be Tochas. Behile. So says the Balatani as follows. If you're, going to, if you're going to understand, and that is the definition, the Balatanya's definition of Tzimtzum Kipshutai. Tzimtzum Kipshutai means HaKadosh Baruch Hu, um, contracted himself and therefore extracted himself and retracted himself and every other word that ends with tract out of, out of this world um, and that's that's where he is. He named so the Balatanya, we're on the next page, you have it there? Pay Gimbal of it base. Milvad, she after Klau Loiber, Ilil Hat Simpsum Kipshutai. It's bothering him. He after Klau Loiber, Ilil Hat Simpsum Kipshutai, Shuhubi Mikre Aguf, Allah Kadish Barahu. This whole idea of extracting himself is giving God physical attributes. It means that. The water is in the cup. I'm taking the water out of the cup. Who be bikrei aguf? That's already physics. Bikrei aguf. That's already physics. This went from here and it went to there. Is already bikrei aguf. Allah kadosh baruch hu. You're 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 putting physical labels on Hashem. Hanif del behem who's so far apart from anything physical, Reboy Revavais, Hanim Dolis, Adin Kates, Afkav Zois, and besides for that, so in other words, the idea that Hashem was in the world and then extracted himself from it, like he's water or vapor or a pillow or, or something like that, is altogether, he says, not, you're taking a human understanding of something and you're putting it on Hashem. There he was. There, what? That's right. Athrum. That was the word I was looking for. So the tip of my tongue. <laughs> well, you're giving him an attribute of space. Space. Well, he created space, so you can you can it couldn't be an attribute that applies yeah. to it. Lamala. Lamala. Is Bluetooth space? Bluetooth to the considered physical? You know, so interesting because uh, I think today we are able to be massive <coughs> things gosh, gosh. Uh, only because there's so many things that we talk and don't understand. You know, I mean, there's so many things that we see working that don't understand. So it's not necessarily water. All of a sudden, it's rays and it's but whatever it is, it's physical. It's not ruchni, it's, uh, it's in your Bluetooth. Uh, what is ruchni? No, it's not still physical, yeah. yeah. You if you had, you can't see it with your eyes. You can see it maybe with special meters and your phone, your cell phone can see it. So the problem was a kushbuchu, I'm going to have an oxygen. You're still giving it a, you're giving it a more sophisticated uh-huh. physical, but you're still making it physical. As far as you're going to go, it's physical. Uh, there are millions of, uh, of levels between anything physical. You, okay, so you got it to level two, Bluetooth. But there's another million, another 10 billion <laughs> levels between us and Hashem. But I do agree with you. Does Bluetooth occupy space? That, uh, don't even, I don't even know. If it transmits from one point to another, then that's occupying space. Not in the way, and not in the traditional way, but it's occupying space. Like Bluetooth uses this different than cellular phones, it's different than red light. And once it's so once it's filled up, it's they, they up. certainly can. Yeah, it's filled up, it's filled up, and they certainly can conflict or be blocked or yeah. yeah. You could you could buy a thing that goes into the into a plug that goes to the wall that it doesn't allow any any cell phone ring. So, you know they have such things. You know they have such things. You could they put them in shuls now in America. You you put something in the wall and it blocks it blocks all cell phone. Uh, can, can you have too much Bluetooth can like five phones at the same time block each other? Don't you right, say? We're, we're we're you're out of buy you. Baf gab zois loy besides for that he says loy bedas you da beiru they are not speaking with das. Beacher again remember think gra. Beacher shehe babilim bnei babilim. You know these are good guys. Thank, thank you. <laughs> Shakarish Burhu Yodeya Kol Hayitsurim. 
they believe strongly that HaKadosh Baruch Hu knows everything that's going on. Nobody's questioning that. Shuffle that everything that goes on in this lowly world, and he watches them. But it doesn't, the fact that he knows everything, this is what this and it's obvious that that that's not something outside of Hashem they themselves agree that the fact that Hashem knows everything here now this gets to be very sophisticated Hashem knows everything that's going on in this room so um, they're asking that that doesn't put Hashem someplace where he wasn't before. Why not? Why not? If we're opening up a new avenue for Hashem to go into, uh, which, by the way, the Hasidim talk like that. You know, like, uh, make a makom for a Kaddish Baruch Hu. Let him in. Let him into your life. The Hasidim talk like that. That's their, that's their, that's their lashon. It's not, it's not so posh at that. But, but you can't say that our Yediyah might be something different than us. What's Shechina? Okay. But remember that HaKadosh Baruch Hu's Yediya and his it is Atzmusay V'daytoy HaKol Echad. So if Hashem is knowing what's going on in this room, they must agree that Hashem is in this room. And that's before Shem the Zayar. The lace asar panoi bine, loy be loyd, the loy be satay. It seems obvious that the Zoyar says there is no place, there is no space, there is no atar. Good choice of words. There's no atar where it's panoi bine, where he is not. Lo be loyin, the loy be satay, says the Zoyar. Not not in the and up and not down. Lace asar panui mide. So I feel like like it's a good name for the anti website. <laughs> Lace asar. <laughs> Lace asar. Ubrahim Ahemna, another Zayar Parshas Pinchas. He who tough is Bakula. He is everywhere. He who tough is Bakula. Velais man the toughest bay, yet nobody can comprehend him. He who soive call almen, velais man the nafik mershuse lebar. Nobody can leave the rishus of Hashem and hide in some outside right in some outside place. He who memalin the zal loshen zeh. He who memalin memalei call almen. He fills up every part of the world. Iu bekasher b'yached zina lazina ilo v'sata leis kurva b'dal edisaydu elav kujabrihu kad iu b'nayu ad kan l'shaydu. It's lashon of desire. So what does it all mean? It means that Hashem is everywhere. Writes a loymar. What does all that mean? Leis man the toughest bay. Nobody can grasp Hashem. She'ein mi she'yitfois ba'asagas sichloi mikol sichlem halayim. That, that, that our minds are limited and we can't understand how this can be. In other words, he's everywhere, so you would think you would understand it because he's everywhere, but no, you're not going to find it on a meter or in a microscope. You're not going to find it. You know, by the Hasidim, they have a, um, a nigan and, and the niggin, I remember um, hearing this when I was a little child, saying it, that uh, the is in Yiddish. And the niggin goes, um, I, just, I won't sing it to you right now, I'll spare you, but uh, the words, the words of the go like this. Frek der beslaget suda v'chosed vos is got. Right? The beslaget asks the chosed, vos is got, and the chosed answers the beslaget, shoyte do, you're so foolish, leis machshava tfisabe. That's the song. And then the second verse goes, Frank their Bisnagat Sudha Bhasad Vu is God. Where is God? So and for their Bhasad Su Bisnagat, Shaita do Shaita do you're such a Shaita, Lesa Sar Panui Bile. 
So the, the ligand like says the whole thing. <laughs> like, like the, the, this is a, uh, I don't know who made up this ligand. But, it's, but they sing it. They sing this at, uh, they sing this at Lubavitch Rebbe's for breaking. This, this is a real ligand. That the, so the ligand is a conversation between a chassid and a misnagin, and that, that the, the misnagin ends up stupid in this, in this, in this ligand, because the misnagin is saying, as the obvious question, so where is God? And then you're such a fool because where is he not? What is God? You're such a fool because nobody can understand him. So your 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 what and your where are not. He's not saying like answering the questions. They're 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 stupid questions because it's not something that the mind can comprehend one way or the other. So what? I want to try to get this down to earth. Not really. Stima de Hostima Lais Machama Twisa Baklau, a Gamba Tachtoinum. Here in this world, Afal Gav the Eu Mamale Kolaman, Hashem is Mamale Kolaman, Lashon of the Zayar, fills up the entire world. Enoi Kenishma Sa Adam Taikufai. Listen to this. It's not like the Neshama. Even like the Neshama, we can understand a little bit. Shehuni Tfesas Toi Chaguf. The Neshama Chaps. And to the, it's like a nitfas, means like in Hilchus Nadarim, like hatvasa, like it chaps the goof. There's some kind of a kasher between the nesham and the goof. The goof affects the neshama, and the nesham affects the goof. He says, you know, you're, you're now we talk about really the lefesh. But you feel cold, you feel hot, you feel you feel um, uptight, you feel relaxed. Your point, you that Hakadosh Baruch Hu is totally not affected by Olam Hazet. Yet we speak like this. I just want to keep pointing out: we make an achas ruach to change things, not to change Hashem, but we do give him pleasure. We change his rod zone. Like but even more than that, we give him pleasure. Nachas ruach, nachas ruach, right? Everything's a nigun. You gotta watch these nigunim. I told you, even Uncle Boishi's dangerous. <laughs> you say, like, Hashem is here, Hashem is there, Hashem is really everywhere. Uh huh. <laughs> we need to leave this concert immediately. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing's innocent. Uh, I don't know what we're saying it, right? No, what? No, you do his ratzon, okay, you're doing his ratzon, but to give him pleasure? Or to give him tsar? So you could say it's all a marshal, you don't, you know, in other words, you're, you, you, now you're saying, if we say that we're giving nachas ruach, or we're giving, t- see, I don't know what's the pashat here, I don't know which way is pashat, but if you say you're giving nachas, if you start thinking about it, so what we're doing is we're, we're not only lending uh, human attributes to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, which is okay, because because uh, we already know that uh, he's a racho and a chanur and on some level, but to say that we're affecting the pleasure of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that's already like a chiddush, like to say that we're affecting there's nothing that we can do in Olam Hazel which is changing Hashem. So, um, this goes on and on. So what's the point? What's what's the point? The the point is being that your WhatsApp ran out of pages here. I'm just going to say it outside very quickly. Um, the, the the point is this: that the Balatanya's claim on the Gra is that if you say that a Kodeshbar, if you take the the words of the Arizal Kipshutai. And you say that HaKadosh Baruch Hu retracted and contracted himself out of this world. And now this world 
is somehow connected. And this world, what we do in this world, somehow affects HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So he's saying that you're making a number of mistakes, some of them kfir and some of them silly. That's what the Baal Tzadi is claiming. That you're, what you're saying is that, that somehow something outside of Hashem, first of all, you're saying there's something outside of Hashem. That's the first problem. You're saying something outside of Hashem. To, to, yeah, that he's not Echad anymore. Because we know that he, the Arizal says, he, he, he was in this world, but Bale Kolalba, that's the world, that's the words of the, of the Zayar already, but Bale Kolalba, so if he's Bale Kolalba, if you say he went out, so what does that mean? Second of all, you're creating a Shinui and a Hashem, and the Hashem Loi Shonisi. Second of all, you're saying that what then is the relationship between us and HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that we have some kind of a touchpad here, and some kind of a, a system where we are affecting HaKadosh Baruch Hu. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is not affected by anything. He's HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Like HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Um, you don't understand how HaKadosh Baruch Hu could be in the world, says the Balatanya. You don't understand that. You don't understand how HaKadosh Baruch Hu still, still be in the world. And that's why you're saying that HaKadosh Baruch Hu retracted himself from the world, because you're, gonna, you're going into problems of, um, of pantheism, pantheistic problems, where if Hashem is everywhere and Hashem is in everything, why shouldn't I worship it? That's the Zuhi Aschalas of Adazaris. So we don't understand. So we don't understand. So you just because you don't understand and you're worried about Avodazara, this is basically what he's saying, you can't change the Metzias to something which is Apocarsis and Kfir. So what he's saying is that you're, what, what, what his title is, that you're saying that, that your Shash of Kfira that it's going to come to Kfir because next thing you know people are going to be worshipping stones and Rebbes and Mashiach and all of this you know you're going to have a different idea so um, you're, you're, so you're worried about that so now you're taking Hashem out of the world you're creating even a bigger Apokarsis Minei Obey mm. a bigger Kfir Minei Obey I'm not agreeing, disagreeing I'm not, I'm not much like <laughs> who knows I, I just, I'm saying that that is the Balatanya's The, the, to, to put it a different way, because he puts it this way, the next next um, on the next page that Hashem is infinite. So how do you fit infinity into something finite? Right? You can't even fill up the cup with Bluetooth waves. So how are you going to fill it up with a kind of Who's saying this? The Balatanya says it on the next page. I'm just saying it out loud because you know, like how can you fit? So that's in other words, the Balatanya's articulating the Graz Kasha, that how can something infinite fit into something finite? That's your Kasha. And his answer, not a very good one, but it, but it's the answer, it's the correct one, and that is, Sandra, humble yourself to this because we don't understand it. Les Machshavat The God on the other, on the other hand, who was probably uh, one of the greatest Mukubalim in history, you know, the, the Goyen is the Goyen. I don't, I don't think he was just saying like some kind of a, a Xero, be careful with this. So the the, the Mistagdim had, had um, by the way, the Mistagdim was a term, I think, which was created by the um, Balatanya. They call them Minad Minagdim at some point. It evolved. I don't, I don't think um, Misnagdim ever called themselves, just defined themselves as Misnagdim for the simple reason that, um, you know, uh, we, you know the, that the Misnagdim didn't hold of the Hasidim, wasn't their Iker. <laughs> like that we should define ourselves as, oh, you're a Misnagdim. Like why, why uh, I, I just, it would bother me to define yourselves in the negative. Like, you know, it's like saying, you know, what are you? I'm anti tzioni is that your home hus? <laughs> is that, no, everything you, everything you do is because you're, you know, there's, might be something I'm thinking, but it's not like, uh, not by whole definition, but like the Hasidim gave this label uh, on it, which is interesting. But the, the, the idea if the idea that the Balatanya, so here's the, the idea that the Balatanya is that you're worried about the fact that if HaKadosh Baruch Hu remains in this world, 
that something infinite is filling up something which is finite. And that can't be. I give you again my same answer that lace machshava tfisa bay because you don't understand ruchnias, you don't understand God, so you can't understand how something can be infinite and finite at the same time. The saying Hashem can't do something. That's right. Right. So, so what do you say? So let's. So without analyzing, without like debating who's right and who's wrong, if you want to, we can. But it, uh, uh, there's a lot of stud of lakad or lakad. But it's what really what I all I wanted to state today was was very very clearly inside the machlokes because the machlokes is according to the Balatani, the machlokes is that that simsum understanding simsum kipshuta <coughs> means that a Baruch took himself out of the world. So if you are a follower at this moment, uh, are learning, if you're a follower of the uh, Lutzva Shederach, HaKadosh Baruch Hu took himself out of this world. What do we have here? We have the Or Hashem, we have the Shechidah of Hashem, we have the Ashkach of Pratis Hashem. Everything's okay. <coughs> but but you can't say that we have Hashem in this world. Maybe in Gan Eden, the Nefesh Chaim says. Maybe in Gan Eden, HaKadosh Baruch Hu's Mishalach B'Toich HaGan. But since then, you don't have it. Maybe even time of Mashiach, but right now you don't have it. The Balatani learns that that's kfira. That you can't say that HaKadosh Baruch Hu left the world. But you know, you know what? The Arizal does say that. So he's saying that, that understand Simsum differently. Simsum doesn't necessarily mean that he retracted. It means that he, he, he was master himself in the entire world. In other words, like he, he hid in the world itself. Misalech God. In other words, that not that he, you know, blew himself out of the world, but um, you know, that, that that we have that, but he contracted into the world. That's how the Baal Tavdi learns it. This was uh, this line of thinking was Habdil from the Gra and the Balatanya. This was like the main the main um, the selling point of Shopsite Sweet. And further back, it was the main, forgetting about these two Kedoshim, the Gra and the Balatanya, this was the main selling point of, of Yashka, because um, he was, HaKadosh Baruch Hu never contracted himself, and he was a, the, 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 a walking manifestation of God. That's what they say. Which of course is wrong because then everybody's going to worship. She shops like you just want to be a Mashiach. You want people to bow down to him. He, he he was he was he wanted to be worshipped. So uh, and people did worship it. It was it was Karib I don't know if everyone realizes this. What or it was Lava the, the the whole shop Tzitzit. But he's not Smusay Shal Yisbarach. That there's a human walking this world here that's going to save the world. So so. Uh, but the, the, the sort of ramifications of, of pantheism that, you know, worshiping Eitz and this is a, um, all of history, this became a problem. This tiny little point became a huge problem. It really divided up, not just the Litvaks and the, and the, and the Misnagda and the Hasidim, it divided up the whole world between um, maybe Avramovino, what did he hope? You know, the, 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 there's only one Hashem, the idol is nothing. For a while there, Afu Avadi Mahem, he was worshiping idols because he was a thinking person, because HaKadosh Baruch Hu put himself into everything. But then he realized, no, the idol is not the thing, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. But then you're saying that HaKadosh Baruch Hu retracted. So all, again, I'm not, I hope I'm not confusing everybody where they're confused. I'm just saying what the Machlaikas is. Here's the Machlaikas. Does Tzimtzum mean that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is Mitzamtzum himself the Toich Bria, or does it mean that he was Mitzamtzum himself out of the Bria? That's that's the Machlaikas. I, I can't I can't pass it this real, but this is the Machlaikas, and it has huge ramifications all the way down the line of the Zen assigned uh, Lag Sameach. But are either of them proving their point other than just building a logical case, but they that nobody has proof either one or How can you prove it? So you can't really say <laughs> I wish I had Thursday, um, unfortunately I'm not gonna be here. Um, so we'll pick up again Sunday. Mm -hmm.